The missile came from Yemen, from a group known as the Houthis. So hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be recreating this fox style animation of the Houthis rebel in Yemen launching a missile towards a ship. So this map we are seeing right here <coughs> was created using Geolayers. But if you don't have Geolayers, you can use any vector, any free vector map to recreate the same. You don't have to have Geolayers. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. <laughs> So inside of After Effects, I'm going to create a new map from. I'm going to zoom this towards Yemen. Then I'm going to make make the size 1920 by 1080. Then make the duration 10 seconds. Then click next. Then I'm going to pick the S E S R I map. Then double click on it again, then click on this drop down and pick what shader relief. This is what we're going to be using. Then click apply, then click create. So because we haven't finalized our map yet, it's kind of kind of blurry. So we'll finalize it once, once we are done. Because if we finalize it now, it will make our system slow. So the next thing you need to do is once click on your what map come here, yeah, the main map come and I'll, this I'm using FS console to bring in our effects here. You can use the FS and, con and preset tab. I'll be using FS console, it's a free plugin. I'll do a story on that later. So I'm just going to search for hue and saturation and bring that in. Then I'll bring my master saturation here to minus zero percent. Then I'm going to turn this down to at least eighteen percent like this so now i'm just going to quickly bring in a screenshot of the vox map and as you can see here it's almost exactly the same apart from the labels it's exactly the same so i'm just going to put this on the side here inside there so down in the geo layers i'm just going to search for yemen uh, i'm just going to create create a field around yemen I'm just going to click on draw and also I'm going to click here again then change this to a stroke or make this black by going down to edit style then bring it down this and click apply then and I want to draw a stroke around this now we have a field and a stroke so for the stroke I'm just going to reduce this down to I think it's it's pixels is enough then for the fill i'm just going to go down here then use the color picker to select our color here so it's exactly the same with what you have then click ok then to make this final i'm going to make it multiple you can change the map the color if you want to something much lighter so if you watch up to this point please a subscription to the channel will be nice and you can support me on patreon or buy me a coffee so the next thing we need to do is we're going to zoom down to where we want our map animation to start from then i already have my cargo ship imported i'm just going to bring that down to my timeline here and bring it down to the beginner part i'm like i'm going to scale it down bring up the position and the rotation parameter like this then finally parent it down to our board map map anchor like this then at the beginning of our timeline i'm just going to go down to my julia say and click on this diamond to create a keyframe and then go down to five seconds and zoom out So once you zoom that to where you want, just this will create another keyframe automatically for you. And so I just quickly play this through to see what you have. Don't forget to click on this icon here for continuous stabilization. So after this, I'll go down to three seconds and uh, like five frames forward. Then. I'll bring my this out. I'll just import one of them here on top. I'm just going to turn on our draft 3D. 
so we can see the outer layer of our mask here then i'm also going to make this continuous rasterization so it's always correct then i'm going to parent this to our map icon and this is going to displace it here like this i'm just quickly going to rotate this so once i rotate it and position it i'm just going to position it close to our our shape here and bring it outside a bit you can scale it down to maybe let's say 25 or 50 50 something percent will be okay then we're just going to create a keyframe for our position then move it down to five seconds and a few keyframe forward like this then for our main map i'm just going to zoom out then we position it down to the edge of our layer here So once you've done that, you can now replay our turn of this 3D draft and replay our animation to see what we have. I'm just going to make a few quick changes here. I'm just going to increase the scale of our ship. I'll um, link this so that I expand the width more and also I'll increase the size of our mixer here. Then I'm also going to move our missile back a bit so that it starts late. So this looks okay. So if when you're working on your own, you can play around with the settings more to achieve what you want. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a bit of a shadow for the for the missile so it looks more realistic as if it's flying in the air so i'll duplicate my layer by pressing ctrl d then i'll just quickly turn turn this one off the below one here then bring this forward a bit so that we can see it then i'm just going to add an effect called drop shadow add that to it in the settings i'm going to make it shadow only going to bring the distance down to zero then move it forward a bit i'm just going to turn this on so i'm just quickly going to play through so that you can see what you have here so now you can see our shadow so after that the next thing i'm going to do is we're going to create kind of like a smoke coming out of the rocket i'm just going to quickly create a shape make sure it's the shape and not the mass and a fill, no stroke. It can be maybe a bit bigger if you want it to be. I'll scale this up a bit. And make sure your anchor point is at the middle. And another issue we might have is that once I parent this to the anchor, to the world map anchor, it disappears. Not disappears, though it moves to because I should have done this animation before doing the zoom. But since you still have it there, I will just quickly move it to the back of my ship here and scale it up so i'm going to scale it up more like this and make sure it's behind our rocket here then another thing i need to do is i'm going to create a max inside so click on the layer and select max then create something hold shift so that the max is round like this then go down to the max and turn the and turn the fader up like this maybe for a start like this then i'll set a keyframe here then go forward raise the the max fader up so that it almost disappears so let's go back to the beginning again press ctrl d to duplicate it then bring up your position and bring this down just make sure you align it properly with the rocket. I think I need to rotate the the nose of my mixer. I'm going to align my smokes along this line here, this part here. So now you see what we have. So I'll just do this for the rest of as it moves towards the ship.
as you can see here we have something nice and as i said you can make changes to this and add your own style to make it more unique so the next thing we're going to do is that right where the mixer crosses our map here i'll just expand this and go back here i'm just going to flip our all of our the mixer the shadow i will remove the shadow first then the ship itself then i'm going to bring in this explosion right there to start from from here it's quite big so i'm just going to scale it down then then move it i need to see what i'm doing i'm just going to reposition it down still going to scale it down there. So here is the playback. And you can see it's very nice. So to finalize finalize this, I'm going to finalize our map so it's much clearer. Then with a little bit of sound effect in Premiere Pro, you have your animation will come alive. So if you've watched up to this point, please subscribe and if you have any question, please ask me and thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.